think that Africa will play a bigger, more important role in this new world order? Africa is, is, is the most marginalized continent. And Africa has more of interest than anybody else. Africa should be more interested, and Africa is more interested now because of the failures and because of the marginalization, its exploitation, looting, destroying communities, creating crisis here and crisis there, and making Africa a recipient of aid when 60% of global endowments are in the continent. Why should Africa remain marginalized? And Africa have more interest than anybody else to join in this solidarity for creating a new world order. Does the absence of colonial ambitions from the side of Russia have an impact on relations with Eritrea and with other African states? It's, 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 the, the ideology is nothing new. Slavery was there. These guys were behind slavery. Okay? They migrated to the Americas. They exterminated the indigenous people. After exterminating the indigenous people, they came up with slaves from Africa. And their cotton plantation and their economy will have to be sustained by slavery. From slavery to colonialism, from colonialism to unipolar system. It's not a new ideology. Humanity has suffered a lot from this ideology. And this is the 21st century. We are not living in the Middle Ages. We have to find a way of living in a modern world. It's very simple. But the culture, this culture of unipolar or the colonial, neo-colonial slavery is one ideology. We have to get out of this cycle and create a new environment. You really talked a lot about this new emerging world order during your visit to Moscow. Uh, and obviously the West, it's the fight of the West against this new emerging world order. What is this new emerging world order for you? And which role will Russia and Africa as well play in this new emerging world order? We need to get out of this, I call it the law of the jungle. This is the law of the jungle. And no one is happy with this state of affairs. This attempt of unipolarization, using every weapon to intimidate, to sabotage, and even contain everybody, is not acceptable by anyone, by any standard. So our new order will have to be based on the respect of rule of law, the respect of sovereignty, non-interference, cooperation, complementarity, and then uh, making it safer for humanity to progress. This ideology will have to be fought. It has to become history. And that can only be done by a solidarity amongst peoples and what Russia can do and what other nations can do, what China can do, and in solidarity with all those who have been marginalized, Africa, Asia, Latin America, Europe, will have to come together and not only face this challenge, but work together to create a new environment, a new environment different to what we see now. Unipolar domination, containment, sabotage, sanctions. We need to get out of this cycle. This cycle is not at all acceptable by humanity.